what does the harvest season mean to you? Harvest season means, uh, first of all, a lot of work, uh, but it's very rewarding at the end. It's nice to see our all our crop in the building, ready for winter. It takes a lot of hand work, but uh, we have a very good crew. So it's just nice to see that everything in the building, and we're ready for winter. We'll have a nice supply of, uh, of a lot of these vegetables right up until Christmas. Most of the uh, root crops will have all winter long. So carrots and potatoes will go right through till the new crop next year. It's, uh, it's just very rewarding. It's a lot of work. It's, it's good to see a lot of happy customers because of it. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to do anything else. <laughs> here with Reclaim Organics. Um, the main thing for harvest season is the bounty of everything. We have a full table of everything we've ever had for the whole season, including our fresh winter squash that we just harvested. Um, we love having the variety because whenever you can get as much as you can at the peak of the season, I guess, you can make entire meals for the entire week with everything that we have here. It's a very busy time of the year, but it's very rewarding because it all works out <laughs> in the end. There's always stuff that you can have and harvest and share with everybody. Another great thing about the harvest in the fall is that a lot of it can be preserved. So even though the fall season has its limits when the frost comes and snow covers everything in the field, you can still preserve everything and then have an amount for the, for the rest of the winter. So relishes and pickles, as well as all of our tomatoes, potatoes, the winter squash, those all have a really long shelf life. So it's great that we can take the bounty of the fall and extend it for the rest of the season. Hi. Uh, my yes. name is Rowan, uh, owner of the Shanghai Green Onion Cake. Uh, what I like to do for Mid-Autumn Festival in my family is to eat uh, the moon cakes and green onion cakes. I think it makes a great combo. Uh, we, we typically like to at least have a family dinner together. Uh, and of course moon cakes and a few other desserts too. Uh, these are actually made in our kitchen here. Uh, flour, dough, uh, green onions. And me and uh, my dad actually make these. Yeah, to be on our left here, we have our pre cooked ones. Super easy, just pop them into the toaster. But if you do have more time, on our right there, we do have our uncooked ones. Where you can pan fry it up and you can add all types of other sauces and oils in there as well. Malaysian cuisine. Yeah. Yeah. But home here we do. We do. We have mooncake, then we have kind of like get together, and also we have that kind of like we call hot pot. So all family sit in round table. So yeah. Yeah. Do you guys go out? No, pretty much because it's those are most like event for family. So we pretty much like stay home and then we family together.
name is uh, Brad Smoliak from Kitchen by Brad. Just doing uh, some shopping today and uh, you know the reason that I really come down here is I love the people and the food's just better. I mean uh, half this stuff or most of the stuff has just come out of the ground you know within the last 24 48 hours or brought down from Red Deer or Lacombe and it's it's just so much better than uh, going to a uh, grocery store. brought up so and of course we're open year round uh, on the weekend Saturday and Sunday and uh, my son he's been in the business since he was eight years old so he's been been busy with that I uh, made the quilt my son inspired me to uh, make a sign for his business so fresh BC fruit under the tree. So uh, the quilt is quite uh, involved because there's different uh, piecing involved with it. A log cabin that, uh, this is a log cabin design. And uh, and then of course there was applique on top. So all the little pieces are cut out individually and uh, sewn on. And then of course the fresh BC fruit was also applique on so it took uh, oh it took a good three weeks or more of constant work and it's sort of a passion it's one of my first quilts that I've made that's great thank you thank you <laughs>